I was just like you. I see things differently. I was just like you. But I was just like you. I would freely believe everything I've heard and seen. I was innocent. I aimlessly followed the script and narration from the media. I'm hurt just like you. And who they said was bad, I I was conditioned to trust and was guilty. The programming of media, I was miseducated. The fabrication to think that everything is normal We're all and equal. everyone is equal. And we're under the same judgment of the law, blindly. That all changed. Everything when changed. When Barack Obama became president, everything changed. We didn't do the pledge yet. You want to lead the Pledge of Allegiance? Go ahead. All right. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right, there you go. Good. See? I'm doing this film because I want, I have questions that need to be answered in my search.
for uh, recovering in a trauma that I have experienced as a black man. It's important to me because I have kids. And it's my job as a parent, as a man, to inform my kids in how the, the game works, how America works. I was, I was affected when Jamar Clark and Philando Castillo were killed. I live in Minnesota. And I felt the connection like I lost a brother, and they were indicted. And to see how the media and uh, the law enforcement criminalized them is reflection is a reflection on me, because I am under that same I am under that same rule that same uh, racism. And as, as a filmmaker, it's my job to share stories. So I'm sharing this story personally in my recovery. My recovery from trauma and understanding how my body operates under this trauma so I can help my brother and my sister. So we can go on a road to, to identifying it and healing. And also we can address these, this problem in the black community to our politicians, how we can build a bridge to our law enforcement. People need to be aware of what's happening in the black community. It's just not enough for CNN, Fox News, NBC um, to have televised programming about it. No, we need, we have boots on the ground that's also sharing a story. And we have a personal story because we have a history and a true experience from it. No one can tell your story but you. And I'm going to tell my story. This is my story. And this is for justice forgotten. I'm doing this because I believe, I believe in my brothers and sisters. And I believe it's my job to make sure I hold the people accountable for this. This is a fight for equal justice.